Oh. Wow. Over 30. Wow. I did not know you quick on the draw, baby. What happened? Yeah, <laughs> we was recording. Hell, I I push the button and I'm like, oh, we're recording. What up, guys? Your girl talking about it. it's Kina. I'm your chewing man. Life of iconic. Iconic if you're nasty. My baby be on the phone. I'm making a post that I don't want to forget it. You see the topic? It says you're in the show. Do I see the topic? I'm going to see the topic if I'm using my phone. It doesn't say it? It doesn't tell you? No, I don't see nothing. All right. Our topic is that's not real love. That's not real love. What would be considered not real love, baby? Um. Well. From a woman's point of view. Six months, baby. Every single day. Five days a week, at least. And then when I got a job, <laughs> that wasn't the case. Um, I literally... So I'm not going to lie to y'all. I typed that title in because I went to YouTube and typed in relationship podcast. And that's what popped up. That was one of the titles of someone else's podcast. So for me, not real love is you claiming a man <clears throat> that don't, that don't claim you. But you swear up and down, y'all in a relationship, y'all together, you can't post him, you can't be seen with him, you can't go out with him, you can't do nothing with him. He come and see you behind closed doors and then go about his business. And the only time you can be seen with him doing stuff is when you're out of town. Yeah. Rarely, barely. That's not real love. That's, you know, that will mess with someone's uh, self-esteem. Let's keep it real. Mm -hmm. Why don't you want me? Why can't you be seen with me? What is it about me? That I can't be seen like someone else. And I, I'm going to tell you right now, anybody listening, I don't care who you is. For the most part, a man is going to show you who he is and he's been that way. When you first meet him, he going to show you somebody different. Someone he's not. Because he's he didn't did his research. He studied you to see what you like, what you're about. So he's going to implement what he thinks you want. He's going to be that for a split second. And when he gets you where he wants you, he's going to be who he really was and is. And now your self-esteem is shot because you thought you had somebody that was showing you love and giving you attention for a split second. Even to the point where... It's um, it's not love even if the dude or the female is like, yo, you can't sit by nobody. You can't sit by the opposite sex, basically. You can't be in the face of the opposite sex. You can't talk to the opposite sex. Oh, he's only like that because he loves me. I love my woman, my wife, to no end. But I understand if she goes out with her friends at a bar and let's say it's getting crowded in there, it's very likely she'll be next to a dude. She might not be talking to him, but she might be next to a dude. 
and let's just say I come in now I'm flipping out because you next to a dude ain't talking to him you don't even know the dude's name that's not love think about it like you in a public place that's that's not love no um we've had you've come out with me and i don't know if we had this exact situation um but like i had a regular place that we go to so of course you see familiar faces because y'all mm-hmm. in there every weekend um so some people will speak to you or you befriend people at the bar because you see them for the last three months every friday or saturday um your man comes in oh who is that why he looking at you like that why why he speak to you now it's the whole situation your friends looking at you crazy and you say that's because he loves me and you know he's protective of me nah that's controlling he thinks you're his property but if you could if you could ever find it in your oh my god what's that It's the green peeps. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Okay, I'm sorry. If hiding candy because I ain't supposed to be eating it was a thing. (laughs) It just disappeared. Okay, I'm sorry. I was so good. Um, Yeah, no, that's interesting. Yeah, insecurities. Thinking you're he he's you're you're not his woman. You're his property. And um, I don't know. You know, uh, it, it's very yeah insecure. Like the insecurities, you definitely got to find out where that stems from because it could probably be childhood trauma that he haven't gotten used to, or she because. It do be women. Hey, I, I told you not to be talking to no other B and this and that and other. It's like, hey, like, like, why? Sorry for eating, y'all. A lot of our videos is during the morning. The morning. And we wake up and record. And a lot of times we've been up for a while, so it's not like we're like today, you know. So, and um, we do it in the morning, but more of a midday type. And a lot of time I don't eat until the midday because I do this thing where I eat when the sun is at its highest, and that's during the midday. So, um. But yeah. So on the flip side, we recorded a video that will post whenever y'all see this. It'll be we recorded a video talking about why women cheat. If you that person that you put in a bunch of restrictions on someone and you you trying to stop them from cheating, but you ain't doing right at home. All you're doing is pushing them into the situation to cheat. If you, I know someone, oh my God, I I seriously, they on lockdown. They have no control over their life whatsoever. They are on lockdown. Their every move, they are on lockdown. Insecurity issues, mental health issues. Um, there's a lot of issues going on and attachment issues, all that. And so that person that they think loves them is taking advantage of that full advantage. That's not love. And it's very sad to see. It, it, it is, it is, it is. And she think it's love. So it's hard to talk to her. 
I mean, it got to a point where there was no talking. So it's you got to let people run into their own brick walls. It is what it is. Um, that's not love, though. If someone's controlling you, someone keeps an eye on you, they need to know you're everywhere about. It's not because they love you. To keep it real is so you don't pop up where they at because they doing what they told you not to do. Let's keep it real. They know your every move, your location. They know when you leave the house, when you come home, when you go to... They know your every location. That's and, not love. And definitely violence is not love either. No. No whatsoever. Even talking aggressive to someone, that's not love. You know, I used to have this thing, and my siblings will tell you. It started, me as a person has never changed from adult to child, has never changed. I don't like disrespectful terms. I don't like disrespecting people, belittling people, any of that. So if you tell someone, shut up, to me, that's disrespectful. Don't say that. Don't tell someone to shut up. You can tell them to be quiet, whatever. When you say shut up, it has a whole different aggressive whatever to it, right? If you call someone stupid, you're so dumb, you stupid. You dumber than a box of rocks or you, you the, I don't know, just... When people and 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 this isn't just for relationships. I know people who are calling their kids dumb all the time. To this day, the child that they that got it the worst is not not the smartest. And I, I'm not being mean. They're not the smartest because they've been told they were dumb their whole life. So what's the rule of thumb? When you've been told something for the most of your life that's negative and derogatory, you're going to think that way. You're going to, that's the energy you're going to come in. You're going to, if you, if you say all the time, even as an adult, oh my God, I'm so stupid. I'm for that. Oh my God, I'm so stupid for that. Guess what's going to happen? You're going to start living in, you're going to start living what you speak. I have a friend that says it all the time. I'll be like, girl, don't say that. Stop saying that. You are not dumb. You are not ugly. You're not stupid. You're very smart. Says it all the time. And I correct her because, no, we're not doing that. Yeah, we're not doing that at all. You've been told by other people because they didn't see the good in you. Your eyes look real good right now. Nope, not right now. Nope, not that face. Mm, no, nope. ooh, you looking like your dad. Stop it. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> okay, focus. Yeah. Um. So, no, I don't believe in calling kids dumb, stupid. You smart. You look good. You're so pretty. You're handsome. You know, you got to uplift your kids. You got to show your kids true love. Especially if you wasn't given true love or real love. Give it to your lie. kids. I ain't going to lie. I was, I was upset at one point. And this was this past week. I told a kid, I was like, you know what? You smart. You, 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 you're, you're smart enough to be on the bus. <laughs> like, that was it. He said thank you. <laughs> uh, hey, I ain't mad at the kid. He said, thank "Don't you. worry, it wasn't my kid." He thought it was a compliment. I ain't mad at him. Um, but seriously, like that applies in every situation. Like, it's not just relationship, but relationships. Obviously, you get it the worst because you're with someone that you've emotionally connected to. Emotionally and, and physically. To, yeah. And, and, but it, it hurts. It definitely hurts. You, if someone's putting you down, belittling you, degrading you, whatever it is, that's not love. 
abuse in any form is not love at all. Anything that makes you feel pain, hurt, bad sad. about yourself. Yeah. That, that's not love. And you need to figure out why. What can you do to stop it? What can you do to fix it? Um, and that's that's even asking. I know you y'all probably like, well, he said for us to for me to find out why you doing what you're doing. Well, yeah. Ask that, ask him, ask her. Like, why are you doing this? Like, but hopefully before y'all even get to that point that y'all are having these deep, unwanted type conversations before you start saying, hey, I commit to you. Have these uncomfortable talks like, hey, baby, like when you was growing up, did you like, did your parents beat you? Like, have what, what type of whoopings did you have? What what made them whoop you? You know what I'm saying? Like, I know it's prying and I know y'all like, oh, that's my personal business. Think about this. You're allowing somebody else to come into your life. They might be okay, but you're you're not okay. You're 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 low key, damn near toxic. You're you're in turn fucking somebody else. Up. Yeah. And if you don't want that, you gotta do what you gotta do. Like, like okay, so so we're poly. We're not gonna bring another female into our home, our relationship, if if we aren't on the same page as knowing triggers and stuff like that. Like, and, and we're we're not gonna we're not gonna unload on her, and she's not gonna unload on us. These are these are live people lives that that we're dealing with. Even though me and my woman is married, that's still a life. I don't want to fuck her life up. I don't I don't want to tell her anything contrary to to how she's feeling or how she was raised and stuff like that like, you know, she know about me, I know about her. Yeah, it would be the same with with the with the with the second, you know. So, you mocking me? You yeah. mocking me? You cute. Um, you cute. Look at that. Look at them lips. Thank you, man. Stop it. Oh, Please. baby. This morning I seen somebody, somebody on Instagram. Never seen the female before, but I don't know. It was something about her face and her lips. Like she had you going. Yeah, she had me going. There was another one that did that to you. Oh, the lady that commented back to you on YouTube. And you were like, it was just something about her words. The spiritual lady. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Had him going. He well, just... she 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 was she was cool. She had me going, but this one, like look wise, just was did like, you reach out to her? Uh she she hearted one of um my comments saying that she's cute. Hey, make yo move. Was she the woman from in your dream? Uh, no. Which dream was this? The one where you asked someone to be, you were on a date and they didn't know you were married and you said you're Polly and wanted them to be your wife. And the person was like, yeah. And you're like, for real? Oh yeah. No, no. This, that, that lady, that female was dark skinned and younger. Going for younger women. Yeah. Well, in the dream, that's that's that was my vision of her. We so off topic. <laughs> yeah. People probably like, wait a minute, this took a turn for the poly world. 
Um, oh yeah, we're we're TP, we're TP, not toilet paper either. Mm -hmm. We're TP, and traditional, traditional poly, and that's that's palandry and polygyny. Do y'all research? Um, yeah. oh, just whatever. So. <laughs> Love is not make love is not when someone makes you feel any kind of way other than happy, in my opinion. No one controls your emotions. No one can make you feel any kind of way you don't want to feel. I've been in situations where people literally have tried to like break me with words like my kid's dad back in the day. I mean, he used to tear me up. Tear me up with words. And when I got to a point where I was just like, I would just stare. Yeah, even for me, my 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 ex would say things like, nobody won't. Uh, oh, yeah, my kids answer that. No, no, nobody won't a guy with 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 kids and. Nobody, nobody wants somebody that look like you, dress like you. That's like not love. My kid's dad said that exact thing. He said, no man's going to want a woman your size. And I was smaller back then. I was smaller back then. Yeah, yes, you were. And he said, no one's going to want you. A woman your size with two kids. This same man, when we were not together, we wound up going to the same club, was the one giving me compliments. Like, oh, I didn't know you could look like that. I didn't know this. The same one that didn't think no one was going to want me with two kids in the club with his current woman. Trying to holler. Giving me compliment. Okay. You thought you had me. You thought you broke me down. You didn't. Yeah, my mine was very upset that I wasn't conforming to what she said about me. And at one point. We thought their actions and behaviors was love. Yeah. No. Or or what they did and all that stuff beside that overshadowed that bad part where, you know, we thought, well, they're just mad. Nah, that's that's just them showing their true colors. Control is not love. Freedom is love. Freedom is love. Because if someone gives you the freedom to go and do what you want, you're going to love that person even more because they've given you the freedom to do what you want. Prime example. We had issues when we didn't allow each other freedom. We have full freedom. Access granted. Look where we at. Mm-hmm. Besides the 1,200 miles apart, like... I mean, of, yeah. we still okay. together happier than we've ever been. And, 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 and loins burning for each other. <laughs> literally. Well, no, Maybe no, not no. literally. Yeah, yeah, don't say that. Like, we, we have no STDs over here or no. over there. No, I, I had to take back that literally, like, wait a minute. Yeah. Not literally. Y'all just understand that that the time apart, it 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 makes the desire to get back connected that much heightened. Like, baby, what's up with that look? That heightened.
Yeah, your arm disappeared. <laughs> but you, 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 you didn't have the. You didn't have the best looking look though, baby. Like because it's frustrating. Yeah, it definitely is. Like I get it, but just know, like, like the like the last time that we uh we the last time we spent together or whatever, I came down and I was sick. Oh but, yeah, but that sickness did not stop that initial bang session. It was. She said that was that was bomb. She's and I was sick, but I was I was Jordan. <laughs> I was I was Jordan. He was hanging in there. Man, I definitely had to get that get that out the way. Sickness came later. <laughs> like, look here, sick. You 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 know you. I know you there, but not right now. Hold off. You gotta wait a minute. Hold off. I put it on her. I put it on her. And then I was like out for what 16, 18 hours. I need a redo. Oh yeah. You definitely getting the redo. All right, so that that's that's all. Just know that love if okay. I'ma say oh. this. Now, if go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm gonna finish it up. All right, love should not hurt, but when you think love hurts, that's because your expectations were in the wrong place. Oh, ouch. So, back in the day, dealing with various people over how many ever years, um, I used to always say, love hurts. Love hurts. I would sign stuff, write poems, whatever. Love hurts. And then when I flipped it, even before we started working on us, I have a tattoo that says love heals, right? So the love that we have healed that hurt. We talked, we worked it out, and we healed the pain that we caused ourselves and each other. Love is not supposed to hurt at all. At all. Love will absolutely heal. Yeah. So get your mind right. Mm. All right. So with that being said, don't ground your love. Make it out of this world. Don't ground your love. Make it out of this world. Don't ground your love. Make it out of this world. Like, subscribe, share. If you find this video entertaining, please comment. Let us know. Or informational. Yes. We're, we we educate and we entertain. That's the two E's that we do. Um, we educate and entertain. We out. We'll catch you in the next one.